even if it's less rational and less practical, what if we need that sexiness factor of sending human beings up there to get people interested in space and funding space in the first place? Mars Phoenix. No, but, uh, it tweeted itself as a little person and was fallen in love with, and when it died, it, it was immortalized in Wired magazine by people who cried at the death of a Twitter feed that died with a robot. Uh, but, you know, I think... Wait, 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 that's delusional. Um, <laughs> I'll explain why. I agree. Okay, Neil, no, no, go ahead. I'll, I'll what, speak what, later. What, what, <laughs> no, allow me to explain. Okay. Okay? The reason why there's so much interest in that Twitter feed is because the manned program was not itself advancing an exploration frontier. Had they been doing that at the same time, no one would have given a rat's ass what the robot was doing. But, and that's, and that's the, what was implicitly recounted here with the moon. In the 1960s, there were robots on the moon. Did you hear about any of them? No, because the manned program was advancing a space frontier. If you do both simultaneously, we're gonna be listening to the tweets of the astronauts and not of your robot. Oh. That's how that happened. I, you know, I, I, the man program, the robots look really sexy. I, I hate to agree with Neil at all, but... Um, uh, at the end of the day, the thing is, manned space flight, kind of awesome, kind of wish I could be part of it, but there isn't the budget in the world right now to do it right. We want to learn, we want to explore, we want to do science, and we have to use robots to do that. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should I just calm down? <laughs> no, yeah. bring it on, Dr. T. Here's supposed to <laughs> testify. Plus, we got questions. <laughs> Tell the truth. I, and I want to make sure we get the questions, but I got to rebut gonna... that. Rebut that. Okay. Uh, to say there's no budget in the world, the federal budget is three point something trillion dollars. Doesn't go as far as it used to. If you. <laughs> yeah, it used to be real money. If you want to count to a trillion, it would take you 100,000 years, and that's one number per second every waking and sleeping moment of your life. That's how big that number is, point one. Point two, it's not that we can't afford it, it's that we have chosen to not afford it. Mm -hmm. I tweeted recently, <laughs> I tweeted recently that the US bailout of the banks exceeded the 50 year budget of NASA. You wanna put something in context, if you wanna do something with three and a half trillion dollars, you can do whatever you want. The what, whatever you judge, to be important to the profile yeah. of the nation that you were trying to build and to sustain. So I submit to you that when you look at the NASA budget, and I'm tired of saying this, but I'll have to say it again, the NASA budget is four-tenths of one penny on a tax dollar. If I held up the tax dollar and I cut horizontally into it four-tenths of one percent of its width, it doesn't even get you into the ink. So I will not accept a statement that says we can't afford it. <laughs> I gotta say, that's Dr. T. And do the thing. When I, 